run through a little line in A minor that uses chord tones. Just a way of visualizing the board and seeing things from the upper register into the lower register as well. Kind of a flowing arpeggio with bass note accompaniment. If you've not yet done so, I'd like to ask that you please subscribe if you're liking the content. Please like, share, leave a comment. If you'd care to make a donation to the channel, the PayPal information's below. And we're going to get started here with this line in A minor. So we have a fifth here from the third string 14th fret to the first string 12th fret. A and E could be here. We're doing it here. And we're going to walk down some neighbor tones. So this A and E is going to become D, 15th fret of the second string. So we're going from a fifth to a fourth. Then we're jumping to a sixth. This is E and C. So it's another version of A minor. So E and C, 14, 13, strings four and two. We're lifting off to the neighbor tone below. Here's C and A, 15 and 14, strings five and three. Slowly. We're gonna reach the neighbor below in the bass now. So from C to A, we're gonna get B, 14th fret. And then we're gonna carry on C and E. So we've widened back out. So now C and E, a 10th, 15th and 17th fret of the fifth and second strings. And we're gonna drop that bass again. And we're gonna come into another 10th, A and C, 12 and 13 on strings 5 and 2. And we're going to drop our bass. I'm using 3rd and 4th fingers here because we're going to try to go below. A and C. G bass on the 10th fret. E and A. 7 and 10 on the 5th and 2nd strings. down and get D in the bass with A in the melody, 10 and 10, string 6 and 2. Now C and E, 8 and 9 on string 6 and 3. We're going to keep the bass going down to B, 7th fret. If we can, 3rd and 4th fingers again. 5th fret, A and C, drop down to G, 3rd fret, and an E with an A in the melody, open 6th string, and 2nd fret of the 3rd string, A, I think I put a little 5-1 in, if you want that, that's D and G sharp, 5th and 6th frets of the 5th and 4th strings. And those are going to go in opposite direction to C and A. So the G sharp is going to arise and the D is going to descend. 8 and 7, string 6 and 4. Hope this finds you well and enjoying your music. Hope you found something in this line that's of interest, maybe a way to move. I don't think it's possible to do too much of this kind of reinforcing of where, where things are. I might do another video like this on these kinds of wide interval chord tone pairs. So please enjoy your playing, enjoy your day, and I do wish you a very Happy musical day. Bye-bye.